Have you ever walked over to a person and randomly pushed them? No? Why? Most of you are probably gonna say, because that's fucking weird and it counts as assault. But if you're a kid, they don't really do anything much. And I know that from experience. When I was two years old, I was enrolled to school. And at that time, I was able to talk already. And you know that if a child talks, they won't stop talking until like forever. So I was just a tiny bit of a chatterbox. And unfortunately, most of my classmates were still in their Google Gaga stages. It was either that or they had a shy personality and didn't want to talk to me. And that caused me to just talk with the teacher most of the times so because of that i didn't make any friends or enemies and to me every time i looked around i just saw npcs but this one dude really stood out and for this story we're gonna call him jalapeno i don't know because every time i would walk past him he would give this face and it agitated me so much obviously i wasn't that much of a brat so i didn't really complain i was just I don't know, I didn't really like him. I've always avoided him, but I didn't really do anything much with him. So one day, Jalapeno walked over to me, and I was like, what? And that bitch pushed me! I don't even know what I did. Like, remember when I said I didn't make friends or enemies? So I didn't know what he had with me, he just randomly pushed me. The thud was obviously really loud, and that caught the attention of most of the teachers. It was obviously really painful, but I didn't cry. That was because I was filled with rage, I swear. But he was way bigger than me, so I didn't dare to just fight back. Because he had all the power to just... The teacher called my mom, and I got to go home early. I saw a glimpse of the teachers talking to him, but I didn't know if they were scolding him or just talk some sense to him. I surprisingly didn't suffer any injuries. I wasn't dizzy, and my head didn't swell, so I came back the next day. So after that incident, I really didn't trust Jalapeno. But I guess he thought, like, I don't feel much of a bully. Maybe I should push her two more times. So he did just that. But every time, I got to go home early, and I could watch Elmo's World! And another time, he became a bit more original. So we were sitting, arranged in a circle, but then Jalapeno went to the bathroom. And I guess I accidentally sat in Jalapeno's seat, because when he returned, he gave me the look. And then he stood in front of me. And then his fat ass proceeded to sit on me. And he leaned back, that obviously caused me to hit my head. Even in kindergarten, he still messed with me. But he wasn't as big of a bitch as he was before. But every time we played musical chairs back then, I can get a chair, but he couldn't. So he would just shove me out of his way and just sit on the chair I got. And after kindergarten, I moved to a new school and I never saw him again.